I guess I'm just kind of saying everyone, this is a live FB and it is 9.21 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's Thursday, uh, January 23rd. And uh, this reading I'm about to do is uh, specifically for lightworkers and starseeds. And uh, I'm just shuffling up the uh, the rider weight. Oh, look at look at what we got. So the tower card has been showing up uh, in a lot of other readers' um, readings on YouTube. So, uh, you know, you can get all specific about it or you can just let yourself know that you, yourself, your community, uh, your town, your city, your government, and the world uh, has been experiencing great change and that this great change is, uh, it's, uh, it's not something we can run and hide from anymore. Okay, so now um, getting that little trying to reconnect thing, but I'm going to keep going because usually it says that on my end, but we're still going. So I'm going to start off. Get um, myself out of my head and um, connect with you and connect with my highest of highest selves, connect with the Akashic Records, the field of information. Uh, disconnect from what I think I know because most of that is programming. Anybody can do this, you know. Okay. <clears throat> About the energies uh, that are connected to. Um, the Schumann resonance going white blank for about four hours and the normal frequency of course is our seven point something hertz seven point I, my mind's kind of I can't think in my own mind right now or I would be able to remember that um, and then and then the the graph goes up to 60 and what we have seen recently is a new frequency, a new base frequency. Hey, hey, Joe. Um, and uh, a new base frequency coming into the Schumann resonance. The Schumann resonance is the frequency of Earth. And the frequency of Earth matches your brain frequency. You can look that up if you want to. So I would like to ask uh, uh, for uh, the cosmos and the universe to help uh, you and I to understand what is this energy? What does it mean for us? And uh, you will also note, uh, it was even on Fox News, that uh, this energy that's coming in is not coming from the sun, it's coming from an unknown source, except that you and I know what that source is. All right, so let's just get some really good messages uh for for us right now about this energy and again i always put the cards face down and uh, we discover what the messages are together now i've laid out uh i've laid out five cards in a circle <sighs> wow and the root message the root message that wants to come is the five of cups so I think uh, what we need to do is we need to stop looking at what we've lost. We need to stop uh, going into our small place with our shoulders down and our head down. We need our chins up. We need to stop uh, crying over spilt milk. We need to stop looking at our past failures and we need to uh, quit rehashing that, all right? Because what's right behind, what's right behind him? the two new cups, the two new cups of the uh, emerging, of the merging of duality. And what, what, you know, those who have not discovered this path of unity, consciousness, as we sometimes call it, um, are feeling the separation and the divide greatly. 
And not only are they crying over that spilt milk, you know, because they're going further, they're actually trying to get the milk out of the ground and put it back in the cup. Okay. I know you're not that silly. So um, the next part is, <laughs> you see, the thing is, is that the new beginning, the ace of wands, the, uh, this is the wand that the magician carries or the shaman carries or the priestess carries or the queen carries or the great mother carries. This is the scepter of justice. Uh, but it's not like that kind of, uh, you know, the kind of justice that we have seen. That's not real justice. That's tyranny. So the spiritual justice is uh, a new start where the mastery of each of us in this way that you know yourself better than anyone else does. And sometimes it's good to watch videos like this and sometimes it's good to go and, and to consult with elders or teachers and sometimes you just have to turn around, see what your own strengths and skills are because you, only you really know what they are. I'm telling you, it's time to pick up the wand and chase your dreams, okay? And at the very top, we have this peculiar uh, four of pentacles card. And this is a, you know, people interpret the cards, I think intuitively, uh, or as I am, which is for me to just release and, and see what comes out. So this card uh, came out in a recent reading, and it, it's, it's giving me a completely different message right now. What it is saying is it's saying that you have a soul treasure, okay? You have different kinds of treasure, okay? And this treasure here is a grounding, a grounding with your earth mother. And this treasure here is your soul connection with great spirit. It's your heart treasure. And this treasure at the top of, of his head is the treasure of divine law that sits above us all, whether we like it or not. It's happening. And there are many, many people on this planet that need to realize what their true treasures are and really understand, and even us, as we try so hard to, uh, to do things in an external way, we need to build up our treasures here, our treasures of connection, our treasures of connection with the past, the present, the future, and of course the great beings that surround us. And these great beings are the planets and the stars. Okay. Now, winding this up is a, a little bit of outcome for the overthinkers who ha are, are reading and thinking and they're watching uh, the news maybe and um, they're listening to a lot of opinions. Now, here's my rule of thumb. I will watch someone or listen to someone until they become really popular and then I assume that they have been co-opted, infiltrated, or they are now being criticized to the point where they spend half of their time speaking to their, uh, to, the, to, to their, I hate that word, hate. Did I just say that? Um, you know, to their people that criticize them. <laughs> and uh, so you don't wanna keep tuning in to someone past their expiry date. And uh, just, you know, you don't even want to tune into yourself past your expiry date. So once it is that your thoughts and your thoughts and your eyes and your bed and around and around to pin you to the ground, you know, um, how many times does this need to happen? All right. And the final card that we have in this little mini spontaneous reading and it still says trying to reconnect here. So I am going to just make this a real quickie, as they say. This is the patience of the light workers. 
Okay, and this is the, the light worker, the steadfast light worker. The steadfast light worker who has their seed coin. And this seed coin can be planted anywhere at any time. And it will grow a myriad of things. And every single one of those things will come from the soul of this noble knight on his trusty steed. So I want you to remember that because we are in troublesome, conflicting times. You need to know where your treasures lie on your body and how those are connected to the true power and the true strength that is going to be required as we do all of those things the channelers are saying we're, we're doing, ascending, moving into 5D, etc., etc., etc. I'm pretty sure we must be cut off by now anyways. Namaste. Namago. Y'all uh, really take care of each other, okay? And...